Uh, why is stage one hardware recommended but not required? Um, that's because our, our goal with stage one is, is to provide tuning that can just be flashed to a stock vehicle and work with the stock intercooler, the stock intake, you know, the stock everything. Um, and, and we are able to generate a massive, huge performance increase uh, while not requiring any additional modifications. Uh, as you get higher and higher up the stage ladder, um, the, the modifications do become necessary. You, you simply cannot generate that level of power performance with the stock components any longer. Um, so the stage one is designed to be accessible. Uh, it could be uh, the only mod you do to your car and it would just completely transform. Yeah, lots of people run just that. But uh, yeah, the recommended mods is then like, do you want to optimize that to be its, yeah. its ultimate form? And then that's what the recommended parts will get you. Yeah. So the recommended parts are recommended. They're not frivolous. Yes. Um, they will generate more performance. Um, and that's the beauty of it, right? So if you just want to do stage one flash for now, you can. And then if you add our intake, you can generate more power with the intake and the stage one tuning. You don't have to change anything on tuning. If you decide to do the intercooler, you'll also generate more power. So the stage one baseline is stock components, but you can build up. So you could consider that those hardware mods as little stages in the stage one journey. Then you would go up from there.